Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. Well, a lot of times I'll get, you know, messages from potential clients or, you know, clients, whatever, and they'll say, do we really need somebody to help us with removal proceedings or in deportation proceedings? And, you know, without seeming self-serving at all, the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, you, you have to understand the nature of how removal proceedings go forward and the players involved. You know, you have the, the immigration court, which is the, you know, where the NTA, the notice to appear goes. And that, that's what is the initial document that you were served with that forces you to go to court. You have the immigration judge and you have the trial attorney, which represents immigration. Okay, and then there's you. And they don't give two hoots about you. That's the reality, okay? They walk into court every day. Uh, the judge has thousands upon thousands of cases that are backlogged for years. The trial attorney, every day when the trial attorney walks in, they bring a cart. You know how you see some people at the grocery store, they pull a cart and they have all kinds of stuff in there. Um, that's what the trial attorney has, only it's filled with tons of cases. And that's just the cases for that day. So they don't care about you personally. And it would, it would make them happy to have a case off their calendar. You know, the, the judge would be happy to have a case off his or her calendar. The trial attorney would be happy to have to not deal with another case. So they are by no means going to go out of their way to help you stay in the country. Because as far as they're concerned, you're a number, you're a case. And if an order of deportation is issued or you don't appear and, you know, in court, they can then, you know, uh, have an order of removal in absentia. And then they don't have to worry about it. Uh, no, no, uh, you know, no, nothing off their plate to, to have to, uh, to just move forward. So that is the biggest reason that you should have an immigration attorney who's familiar with deportation proceedings and removal proceedings with you from the very beginning, not after the master calendar, not after you've pled, not after you filed the petitions at the beginning Okay, some people think that they're going to go there, do their master calendar, you know, plea by themselves. They're going to prepare the asylum by themselves. And then only when they get to the merits hearing or the trial will they actually decide that they're going to use an immigration attorney. And that's a humongous mistake. It's also really arrogant to think that, you know, they can prepare everything that needs to be prepared from their point of view in a foreign court under the laws, meeting all the requirements, without having a law degree, without being a lawyer, without being an immigration lawyer, okay? Uh, if, if, if you want real help, you have to get help from the beginning to prepare the, you know, asylum or cancellation of removal or derivative citizenship claim or adjustment claims or the waivers. I mean, whatever it is, um, it should be prepared by an attorney who knows what they're doing uh, and argued by an attorney, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that certainly you can't help. It's your case. You have to help. Uh, but, you know, don't, don't try to save money here. Uh, this isn't like a civil case, okay? It's not like a civil suit. You lose, you get the you know, judgment, it's money, and then, you know, they have to collect type thing. If you lose, you could very well be deported, Okay? out of the U.S., away from your family, away from your job, to a place that you might not have been since you were a kid. You might not even know the language of that place. Who knows? Uh, and, and again, immigration doesn't care. They, you know, put you on a plane. They put you on a bus, whatever it is. They open the doors when they get there. They let you off. It doesn't make any difference to them that you have nowhere to go, that you have no money, that you have no family, that you have no house. They don't care. Uh, so the consequences 
for not being properly represented at immigration court are the biggest consequences that there is. You know, it's your life. You know, it's, it's where everything's going to happen. So do make sure that you get representation if you are in immigration court because, uh, you know, if there's any law other than tax law that is full of bureaucracy and mazes and all kinds of uh, convoluted uh, ways of doing things, it would be immigration. And that's why you need someone who, who specializes in it. Okay.